Simon, we're standing on the uh, number one deposit here, and as we're looking in this direction, looking towards the, towards the east, that line of trees marks the commencement of the, uh, or the easternmost uh, contact of the number one deposit. It dips away to the west at about uh, 10 degrees. The average thickness here is about 20 metres. Looking to the north, <coughs> north here, from the um, outcrop and from a little bit of drilling that was done by Western Mining in um, the late 60s, early 70s, we know it extends there for about another uh, 150 metres, but from the mapping that we've done, <coughs> we'd be quite confident it extends for about another 300 metres that direction. Going to the south here, uh, from the work that Western Mining's done and from the outcrop that we've got, uh, we know <coughs> that the uh, pegmatite ex extends that 300 metres and we'd be fairly confident about going at about another 150 metres beyond there. So the whole zone, 20 metres thick, dips from here, dips to the, dips to the west at a, <coughs> quite a shallow angle. So we'll be exploring this uh, with closer space drilling, doing delineation drilling and uh, drilling out to the west to uh, put together a, um, a measured resource which we can translate to a, a reserve once we've got the mining parameters in there. And these are uh, diamond holes that were drilled in 1996 by um, McSweeney who was uh, charged with doing a, a pre-feasibility study on it. There were about uh, 13 test holes altogether. He wanted to make sure, absolutely sure, that the analytical data that Western Mining put together in uh, late 60s and early 70s was, was uh, precise and accurate and he was able to show that and he was also able to show that probably Western Mining underestimated the grades at that particular time by about 15-17%. So there are about uh, 13 of those uh, shallow diamond holes here which allowed um, Frank Trask and um, John McSweeney to do the, uh, get the figures for the pre-feasibility study that was done in 1996. Yes, Simon, we're on the uh, number one deposit, which is uh, the one, <coughs> one of the three deposits that was tested by Western Mining in the late 60s and early 70s. And this is a uh, test wind that we put in just to get into uh, fresh uh, pegmatite material, just to see how it behaves metallurgically. And uh, in this particular pit, <coughs> we've got uh, very quickly into uh, fresh material. There's only about half a metre of, or less than half a metre of oxidised material. But if you have a close look here, you can see the um, podumene crystals in the rock. They're quite big crystals, a bit like blades of grass almost, um, greeny grey colour. Some of them up to uh, 30 centimetres long. And quite a high density of them in this particular pit, quite coarse grain material. So it's uh, been quite valuable just to work out the procedures that we need to use in the metallurgical work. And uh, we've done a similar sort of thing over in the uh, what we call the number two deposit, which is about uh, four or five hundred metres north of here.